Good morning and welcome back, wieners. It's uh, it's an early one. It may not look like it up here in Maine, but it's actually like 5.30 right now. Sun rises at like four something up here in the north. I just figured we'd start the video off by this beautiful sight right here. Take a look at this. Oh, mm. Mm -mm -mm. Ever since I got the Traeger, I've been just so tempted to cook breakfast on it every morning. It's a little unnecessary. It's kind of overkill to do bacon on a, a Traeger grill, but it's just so damn good. Today, we are going after a fish you guys requested us chase after for a long time now. A fish that I have not caught in months, maybe a whole last year. It is the elusive, the deadly, northern pike. It's a fish that we tried to fish for like the other day in one of our videos and we failed at it, but we're gonna give it another shot today. Regardless of the fact that I have a hole in my boat, we're gonna try to go on the boat. We'll see how that goes, probably terribly, but at the very least, we gotta give it a shot. I'm gonna cook up this bacon for Alex, Lucky, and I. We are gonna get all situated and meet y'all out on the water. So stick with us and stay tuned, and let's go get him. Who's a little wiener dog? Have we sunk yet? Are you sinking? Seems like it's floating pretty well. There's one thing that can always fix a problem, any problem you have, whether it be a metaphorical problem or a physical problem, that being JB Weld. Fail your math test, JB Weld it. Your dog in your carpet, just JB Weld it. Your boat has a hole in it, JB Weld that Unreal, I wish I would've filmed me doing it this morning. I don't know why I didn't, but as you guys probably noticed from my last video, we got a hole in the boat. Hole's an understatement, it's a gash. I was like, I really wanna go fishing today. We've only got like one more day left here in Maine before we have to go to Texas for a bit. And I was like, I gotta get out in the boat. The low's gotta float. So I JB welded the hull and she she's floating. By the way, not sponsored by JBL, but if anyone over there is watching this video, I'm your guy. I need a JB Weld wrap, nice ball cap, maybe a nice jersey. Hit the tour going hard with that JB Weld scene. So what's on the agenda today, Wiener? What are we going for? Not smallmouth. No, not striper, no, pike, exactly. We are going after pike, an invasive fish species up here that a lot of people love, but also a lot of people hate because, well, they just take over all the ecosystems and they eat all the cool fish like the brook trout and everything that's native, whatever, blah, blah, blah. We're gonna go fish a spot that I have not tried yet and uh, see if we can catch our first main pike of the day. You guys have asked for it, so here it is. Let's make it happen. All right, let's get active. This is like my bass fishing rod, but it also doubles as a pike setup as well. It's a six foot medium he heavy, six foot heavy. And on here, I've got some 60 pound test, which is just perfectly fine for pike. And as a leader, I've got 80 pound fluoro. 80 pounds like good enough. Ideally, you'd want to use steel leader or a hundred pound. At least that's what the muskie guys say. We're using just a big three, 300 size cast drill. Just, I mean, there's so many baits you can throw for pike. Big blade baits, top waters, big glide baits. I think I'm gonna start off with a glide bait just because that's what I've had luck on in the past. Okay, here we go. Yeah, these are the two baits that I'm probably gonna focus on the most. Big bucktail, double eight. It's a big glide bait, which just, just slays. It just slays them. Bass apparently like it too. Last time I was here, I was catching them on the on this so we're gonna give it a try and if that doesn't work maybe it's just like a downside situation where we just need to throw some smaller lures but like i said we're gonna run this real quick and see where, where it takes us There we go, there we go. Yeah, I knew it. Just had to downsize. There we go. Freaking slob choked it too. I'm so glad I'm using this heavy leader. That, that is what we came for. Okay, let me get that net. Just so I don't get bit. <laughs> we did it. My first ever main pike. Not a pickerel, a pike. Oh my God, that was so cool. I just made the adjustment. I was throwing all these big lures, which are great for pike, but sometimes downsizing is all you need. I catch more pike bass fishing than I actually do pike fishing. So with that in mind, I threw a little chatterbait. This little dude was on it. Oh my God, dude, these fish are warm. Alex is telling me the water temp in here is 80 degrees right now. That's pretty hectic. Could you have eaten that thing any better? Look at that. See, that is why pike are crazy. They don't eat it, they inhale it. Got it out. 
No harm, no foul. First pike of the day. Let's go get some more on a chatterbait, on a bass chatterbait. It's so goofy. All right, buddy. Take care now. Uh, see ya. <laughs> we did it. Only a few freaking minutes out here and we caught our first one. I think we're onto something here. Small, subtle, with a lot of movement. Chatterbait's the move. Let's see if we can get some more. Not, it's a giant bass. Oh my god, this thing feels good, whatever it is. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's another pike. Oh, it's a good one too. It's a much bigger one. Come here. Oh my god, that's a good fish. Not a bad one. Oh, come here. Come here, sister. Oh my god. These ones have spunk. This is a much better fish. Let's go, let's go. Is it net? Alrighty. He's a little bit longer. Let's see if we can get him in. Yes, sir. <laughs> this is fun. I could do this all day. A lot of a lot of people up north, myself included, have come to this whole like mindset that pikes suck. Mainly because when you're bass fishing, they bite your you know twenty dollar jerk baits off. But really, you have to appreciate their power, their aggression, and just the way they look. Some of the coolest freshwater fish I think you can catch. They just look insane. They don't call them gators for nothing. I mean, look at those teeth, dude. If this thing takes one foul swoop at your hand, you're going to the hospital. 100% getting stitches. I, I know guys who've gotten bitten by these things. It's not fun. Best way to handle them, put one finger under the gill plate, not the actual gill, and then support them with your left hand. So just say cheese, just hold up your little slime ball. This one's got some back, look at that. She thick as hell, damn. All right, pike number two, they're getting bigger. We're moving in the right direction. Let's put them back. Back they go. So cool. Look at that head. Oh, that's gonna be a big fish someday. He's just built. Go on your way. Good. They go right back down into the grass. <sighs> Dude, two pike within an hour. Hell yeah. This is cool. Bass. Ah. <laughs> Love it. Not the target species, but we're always after some largemouth. <laughs> Just crank the chatterbait. <laughs> what are you doing? You got a pike? It's so funny. This is like, this is a role reversal. Every time I go bass fishing, I seem to catch a pike. And then every time I go pike fishing, I seem to catch a bass. It's the way it rolls sometimes. It's so damn confusing. It's just fishing in a nutshell, for God's sakes. Oh my God, dude. That was big, big. Like, I think I have a bruise on my side. They're here. Found them. Jesus, my God, that actually hurt. Like just set hook into a bluefin tuna. Oh, come on. I know you're down there. Oh! See, I'm about to say it was a largemouth, but then this pike comes up and follows me. It was, just, it was nipping at it, dude. It was like, really? like if I was doing that to your bait, that's what it felt like. It was a good one too, it was about as big as that last one. And I have a bird's nest. Well, could, could things get any better? Pike, good one. Keep tension, you could like barely be hooked. Oh, it's a good one too. <laughs> it's a good one. That might've been the one that followed me in back there. Nice, dude. First ever pike? First ever pike. That's pretty sick, that's a pretty good. Look, he was just, it was just barely tension. Barely hooked. Yeah, they got such hard mouths. Hello. Oh, you're fine. Hold the puppy up. Hell yeah, dude. What's up? So this is Alex's first ever pike, which is pretty funny because he's caught a pickerel and a muskie but never the in-between fish? No, never. It's hard to believe. This, it's funny how these ones in here, they're kind of brown, you notice that? Yeah, a little bit. Interesting colors, man. And they're they're just bad already. Look at that face. That thing wants to mess you up. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Big one. Huge. 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 Wow, that was a big fish. That was a big one. That might have been 30. Pike? Seriously? This is hilarious. Came out of the How big? Um. Oh yeah. Oh, good one for sure. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. That's a really, that's much bigger than your last one. Let's go. Let's go, man. <laughs> like popped it out of the grass. Oh yeah, that's go. the biggest one of the day, 100%. There we Let's go. go. <laughs> nice fish, oh, dude. Oh, that's a stud. That's, I bet that one goes close to 30. Okay. 
Right, this might be the first thing. To Ooh, actually pretty close, 29. That is the biggest one of the day. We got a 29 inch or just shy of our 30 inch goal. I'm gonna hold that puppy up and get the big camera out. There we have it. Second pike for Al and that is the biggest of the day. Just crunching bass chatterbaits. How hilarious is this? That is the fish we're after. Four fish, four pike, unreal. Epic. Went from zero to four, real quick, <laughs> real quick. All we had to do was just downsize. There you go, now she's out. Oh, here we go. There she goes. Big, big, big crush. crush. <laughs> four pike in the boat. I've got two, Alex's got two. He's got the biggest one of the day. Very nice stuff. This is just such a pikey area, and when you're throwing small baits, like a chatter bait, like a little swim bait, you have a better chance of getting fish. Sometimes not the best way to get the giants, but we just need to start it off somewhere. We, we had zero main pike after after this uh, this past hour, and it's looking good. Sun is starting to come up. It's going to get pretty hot here in a little bit, so we're going to try our best to sneak in as much fishing as we possibly can. These fish do like cooler, grassier water, but you know, and they're still biting, so we're going to keep fishing. Anyway, let's get after it. Let's get some more. Yep. Good one. Oh, nice one. Dude, nice one. Oh boy. Dude, good one. Oh my god. This is a good one. This is a good one. This is a good one. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is a good one. This is a good fish. Oh my god. Yes. Yeah, that's a, No, it's not. It's not a musky. 100% positive. It's just a good pike. <laughs> There's no musky in here. It's just a good pike. That is a good one. <laughs> yeah, dude, we are crushing them <laughs> right now. Go. We are actually doing dude, really good. That's the 30. 100%. That's a 30, yeah, that is that is a 30. Day. Oh, so sick, so sick, so sick. Uh, like, maybe just at 30? <laughs> I don't even know. We'll call it 29, but it looks like it's close to 30. That right there is the biggest of the day for me. I'm gonna rinse them off. Oh, yeah. Peep it. <laughs> we are in them right now. That is a very healthy pike. Like, if we came out here any other day and caught one of these, I'd just be so pumped with the fact that we're actually targeting them today, which is a rarity. It's just good to get some uh, some gators, some mini gators. <laughs> they look really, I mean, he looks bigger in the water, doesn't he? I can see why you thought it was a musky. Yeah. Like a little musky. All right. Whew, she splashed the camera. Yes, dude, let's go. I need another one of those. That was so dirty, man. That was so dirty. They are stinky fish. They are slimy fish but they are so much fun. Let's get some more. You're on? No way, this is psycho. Another pike? That's a really nice one. That actually might go 30. No, maybe not. It's long, it's a good one. There you In go. the net. You got him? I got him. We're hammering them. You're hammering them right now. I just got bit too. There we go, oh my gosh, dude, good one, good one. And now it's running at me. I'm not really sure what's going on here. Oh my God, yeah, dude, nice one. This might be the biggest one. This is a good one. This is a good one. <laughs> this is unreal. Look at the way these fish pull. Look at the size of that one. Just some meat. Just some meat. <laughs> yeah, I could do this all day. Oh my God. These fish are a lot more active than I thought. Probably just because of how warm it is, maybe? That one's gotta be 30. I mean, that one actually has to be 30. Look at the head on that, dude. Okay. All right. Come here, Bob. You done? Maybe not, I don't know. Just really deceiving. Oh, power. Oh, it's heavy. It may not be 30, but it's heavy. Oh, buddy, that's such a good one. <laughs> this is a blast, man. Who needs who needs largemouth when you got these guys? So cool, dude. They look cool, they fight hard, and you catch them on lures. Anything better than that? Oh my God, black fly is biting me. Ouch. Worth it though. I don't know if it'll go quite 30, but it's short and stubby and it put up a mean fight. Just look at, I mean, they're healthy in here. Like they are eating. This is a very, very healthy, healthy fish. Incredible. All right, guys, we're actually going to put this guy back right now. Instead of doing the big camera, we're just going to get on the story. If you want to follow us on Instagram, I'll leave both our Instagrams down below. Keep up to date with what we're doing, whether it be pike fishing, striper fishing, or bass fishing. Can you also swat this black fly off my shoulder? Thank you. Oh, my God. Holy moly. Oh, my God, another one. Oh, he's on. Another good one. Am I even recording? Yep, I was. Another good one, dude. Oh. Don't even worry about it. Don't even, don't even sweat. My phone. 
This is ridiculous. This is insane. That's a good one. <laughs> They're like turning on right now. I think we just need to stay on the outside and just keep throwing into this. Yeah. Oh, thanks. You have it. <laughs> Appreciate it. Oh, wow. That was fun. Another one. Oh my God. This is crazy. Boys, this is crazy. This one also feels healthy. Oh my God, this is so much fun. Yeah, just another decent one. How many pike are here, dude? Oh, that was so sick. That was so cool. I've never seen a pike go airborne. I've never seen one go airborne. That was so dirty. Oh, yes, sir. Oh my goodness. That thing popped me too. There must be a ton of fish. So Alex and I were just saying, Alex kind of was one that was the stepping stone of this pattern. We went up in the in the inlet there, which is basically a river, which is a perfect early season spot, like April and, and March, if ice house is even in March up here, I don't even know. But anyway, they go up these rivers to spawn. But now that it's starting to be kind of like mid, late summer, they've uh, moved out of their spawning areas and they're probably just sitting right at the mouth of this inlet, probably pretty tired from the spawn, hanging out to eat. It's just kind of a, a good crossroads area for these fish to post up. Clearly there's a lot of pike here. Like we have not moved. It makes me feel so goofy for even being back there in the first place. That's actually a pickerel. Yeah, it's a pickerel. First pickerel of the day. Usually we catch a hundred of these guys before we even get the target species. Okay, thanks. Appreciate that. Oh my goodness. Wow, that little thing. That little thing did all that. Jeez. Man, pike don't mess around, do they? Even when they're little. They don't play. Oh, that was so cool. I didn't even see him. That was so cool. Oh. He wasn't, that wasn't even that big of a fish either. Could you imagine if like a giant one did that? Oh my Lord. This grass is perfect. It's nothing different. There we go. That's a pike. No, it's a good bass. Wow. That's a pike. So sure of it, eh? Just so sure. Don't take my word for it. Not a bad largemouth. Today is a green fish day, guys. Green fish day. Little fatty. Bite slowed down. He kind of got off that that uh, inlet mouth, and they just seem to be a little more few and far between, or honestly, at this point, non-existent. So we're gonna give it a few more minutes here. See if we can pick off one last minute 30 pluser and call the day. We've had a pretty productive morning. I woke up at 5.30 just to get out here and catch some pike. Definitely a first for me. <laughs> I don't normally do this, but you guys were asking for pike fishing and to be completely transparent, this is definitely the most fun I've had in a long time fishing for these dudes. Arguably even up in Maine. This is just a this is just a blast. Like they are throttling the snot out of this little chatter bait. It blows my mind. <laughs> Holy moly, guys. We made it. Did you have fun today, Wiener? Did you have fun today? We caught some pike. We fulfilled your mission. I know you want us to catch the pike so bad. And we freaking did it. Oh my gosh. So, as you may be able to tell, pike are no freaking joke, especially up here in Maine. What a legendary day that was. I'm glad I was able to come out here and film a video you guys have been asking for for quite some time. I'm actually surprised that most of you guys wanted to see some pike content opposed to like striper or largemouth or whatever, which is cool. It's something different. I enjoy fishing for a fish that, to be quite honest, I don't know much about. This was a good last minute send before we head back to Texas. Uh, like I mentioned prior, we're gonna be back there for like two weeks just to kind of get some things closed up. I kind of teased this maybe in one of my previous videos, but got some big things coming. One of which being a new boat. The other one being another new boat. Since we partnered with Merkin Brunswick, uh, we've had some opportunities to uh, Get some new rigs and I'm pretty excited to show you guys what we have coming down the pipeline. Speaking of boats, check this out. I cannot believe this freaking worked. I think you saw this in one of my previous videos. Uh, I showed you guys that giant hole that I have. Take a look at this. Lucky always likes hanging out under the boat. I don't know what her deal is, but anyway. Um, <laughs> you can help me end this video. 
This right here was the hole that we had and uh, I literally patched this up this morning. It worked somehow. I don't know how it freaking worked, but it really did. Not a single drop of water in this rig. If you guys have any other suggestions as to what we should fish for, what we should do outside of fishing, like I always say, drop a comment in the comment section below and we will make it freaking happen. I appreciate the view. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, folks, keep catching pike. Never stop.